let's have us a little unboxing and comparison. This does not come with either one of them, but I love a ball end hex wrench. So this is what I'll be using. Here's mine, the one I already have. This is the Delta branded G3, the G3-D. Um, this is the wrench it comes with. It's got its 48203 stamped in the back. The handle doesn't move. Nothing about it moves. It's just cast and stamped. So you can see there's no, uh, there's no branding really marked on anywhere here. Um, it's just uh, looks nice and plain. Uh, here is the, uh, the new one. And this is the one that is coming from Nagu. Now the box says that it is made in China. And it says that it is a 10600 1 inch by 8 ppi direct something chuck with two inch jaw set and then there's some words written in some language that I don't read. Okay, a lot of stuff in plastic with what I can only guess is Cosmoline all over it. Oh yeah, love that smell. The wrench, uh, it is also stamped Nova. Looks to be exactly the same size. Um, other than the fact that it, uh, also has Cosmoline all over it. Uh, let's see. That's 138 grams for the, for the one that came from Nagu. 137 grams. So we got one gram of Cosmoline extra on there. Uh, let's see what we got. So, in the packaging, oh, lots of plastic. All right, well, it's certainly shinier than mine, but uh, side by side, the bodies are, seem to be exactly the same height. Arms, they are printed with the uh, numbers. They don't look to be stamped in. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. But, yep, they are marked one, two, three, and four. Whereas mine, you can see, they are stamped in, or I don't know, they could be cast in, but whatever it is, they're in there. Now, it does seem to come with plenty of hardware. The woodworm screw here, which again, they seem to look pretty much exactly the same. The threads all seem to line up, same length. All right, we got 2.2. 2.2. All right. Now this comes right off the bat with uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. So it's got screws. And they, uh, they do fit the ball in the... Uh, And they actually say Nova. Now, 
it may be that they're not making all of these parts, right? It's certainly possible that um, there is a market that they could be buying Nova wrenches or screws that say Nova on them. Now, on the body of this, you can actually see where it does have a branding. It says Delta Machinery Nova G3D. And in each of the grooves, it does say Nova. comes in at 12.17 and the new one comes in at 12.22. Uh, for all intents and purposes it looks the same underneath. One test that I can do right here is four. All right, so we got number one. It's, it sits on there. It's in the groove pretty nicely. Screws are finding no problems biting with the, uh, the piece in its place. Other than the normal, I'll take the other wrench. Okay. The wrench fits and works. Woodworm screw. No shaking, no looseness. It does come with two of the little red fiber washers and one of the set screws to uh, lock it in place so that it doesn't go in, so that it doesn't come off in reverse. But I don't see any, don't see any reason uh, to ever use that. I've used mine and I've used it in reverse and it, it never seems to come loose. I've never had to actually tighten up that screw. Jaws, they are numbered on the bottom. Two, one, three, four. So there's that's one. There's two. And these are stamped, so they're hard in there. And that certainly fits in that groove. doesn't seem to be any amount of play of any concern. So let's see if the screws do their thing. With the uh, jaws in place, the screws seem to fall right into their holes and bite right into the threads. Nice. I wouldn't uh, feel any forcing or any risk of uh, cross-threading. Although, you know, in the beginning it seems like the screws are a pretty standard metric screw. And even to the extent that some of them are stamped as, as Nova, I gotta believe they're using some Nova product in here, and they're certainly buying a cast wrench or 
guess if you're going to duplicate a cast wrench, you cast it from the mold, but least meet the category of saying that uh, the jaws interchange and uh, everything looks pretty much the same. I have found a difference. I was going to change my jaws back so that my Nova jaws, my Nova chuck has the Nova jaws on it and the Nagu chuck has the Nagu jaws on it and looking at them you can see that the Novichok has serrated jaws below the, uh, the line of the dovetail. And the body is a good third thicker. Although, you know, looking at the rest of it, the rest of the jaws is about the same. But it does sit a bit higher on the chuck. That could certainly be just a difference in style of the... Uh, of the jaws that come with it but the thing that they were arguing or at least in their advertisement was that it will fit the jaws and accessories of the other chuck and it seems to have passed that test. I missed one more thing in the, uh, the original chuck that I have it has two holes one on this side and one on this side for putting your locking screw in to keep it from coming loose when it's turning backwards on its own. Um, on the Nagu chuck, you see, it only has the one hole um, in order to put the one set screw that comes with it in there. And near as I can remember, I only ever got one set screw with the Since I don't use it, it's not really a big deal. Okay, that seems to be the comparison.